This is the update you've been waiting for. We took your feedback and our own body weight and caffeine and created this massive release just for you. It's one of the biggest and most feature-packed software releases from Reliable Controls ever. I'm Nathan with Reliable Controls, and this is Update 3.6 for RC Studio. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. So, odds are, if you're watching this video, you already know RC Studio is the ultimate all-in-one engineering tool. But with Update 3.6, RC Studio gets several major improvements, with many of these features coming directly from you. First up, Simulator Mode gets an upgrade. Simulate Mode is great when you need to program an entire system offline, while not having to mess with pesky little things like, you know, an entire building full of controllers. Stupid real world. Who needs it? Anyway, we took your requests and added features like fully functional templates with the ability to associate templates right in simulate mode. The new update and restore functions allow you to make changes in templates or fix mistakes. Or you can try to be like me and do everything perfectly on the first try. The send multiple feature is a real headache saver. It allows you to easily send program and system group changes to multiple backnet devices at the same time, instead of making the same change over and over and over and over. While we're talking about stress and time savings, the Add Multiple Simulated Devices feature is just plain awesome. This feature allows you to add multiple simulated devices at once by entering a device instance range or incremental ranges. No more having to enter one device instance at a time. Finally, we tweaked a few things in simulate mode based on your requests. Loading descriptors no longer affects a live system. Descriptor is predefined? What does that even mean? Calendar events are now correctly displayed from version 7 controllers. Reliable Controls Protocol is now only displayed when necessary. And in the panel status dialog box, the file column shows as template file during update and restoring a panel file template. Yep, that's a lot of upgrades packed into simulator mode in just one update. But you might be wondering, what about the rest of RC Studio? Don't worry, we've got you covered. Patience. Creating system groups can be fun, but editing multiple objects one by one is definitely not. With Update 3.6, you get a powerful new dialog box to edit multiple system group objects all at once. All you have to do is select multiple objects in the system group, right click and select Edit from the shortcut menu to open the Edit Multiple Objects dialog box. Resize all the text? Done! Change the device instance reference? You got it! Cure my repetitive stress injury on my right click finger? Well, maybe. The new and improved color picker is jam-packed with features you requested. You can now define color by specific RGB or hex values for exact color matching, or eyeball it using the sliders. Once you dial in a color you like, you can save up to 30 custom colors for use later. By the way, all of my custom colors are based on my favorite hockey teams and jelly beans. Mmm, jelly beans. Choose from a variety of predefined color themes to get you started, or define multiple colors for options like replace color or high, low, normal, without having to close the color picker. The colors in system group animations are also stored as RGB now, so you're not limited to the custom or predefined colors. The network status worksheet gets a brand new parent column, which allows you to, well, edit the parent device. You can now easily designate the parent device for a group of controllers that use templates. The smart sensor is getting some love in update 3.6, and is is now fully supported in templates. You can now add or remove smart sensor devices from within templates. On top of that, you can use placeholders for smart sensor names. There is a new toggle button configuration in the smart sensor setup dialog box. You get to define what the middle menu button does and customize the behavior of the smart sensor, from disabling it to jumping to a specific row between 1 and 10, or simply switching between Celsius and Fahrenheit. All of these options are easily assigned to the middle menu button on the smart sensor. Now that's one smart feature. Get it? Smart? Sensor? Oh, come on. Ah, whatever. RC Studio Update 3.6 has way too many improvements to list, but there are a few improvements worth noting quickly. First off, a summary has been added to the bottom of the panel status dialog box, listing the total number of controllers processed and the total number of controllers successfully backed up during a network backup. There is a new icon for the Mock Pro View controller, and the Mock Pro View LCD is now labeled MPV-L. And finally, in addition to simplified Chinese, French, and English, RC Studio now supports Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, and German. That's update 3.6 for RC Studio, folks. We're pretty excited about this release, and it's not even the full list of improvements. 
For the complete list of improvements and features, check out our Q3 2018 runtime. You can find a link for it in the description box below. We want to seriously thank everyone in the RC Studio community that gave us the feedback to make Update 3.6 possible and making RC Studio your ultimate all-in-one engineering tool. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. From everyone at Reliable Controls, thanks for watching. Thank you.